yes so in the fourth part we can start from the generation of cn grid this is the most important part here so uh, before i start just see this step so i'll type like ground group sand loam like sandy loam and um, clay skeletal clay loam and clay the group is a b b c c and d uh, you can get this letter very useful uh, that is why i uh, wrote uh, first at first here uh, okay see next see let's start our cn grid generation okay so first uh, what will we do let's just um, deselect this kind of things of joining layer catchment catchment okay so next what we have to do just uh, first uh, see the command because there is given a link like how to download the soil data how to download the land use data um, even after downloading this you can procedure with this uh, steps so first what i have to do first add add the land use data land use like land use data land use raster file land use raster file i am uploading this i have already downloaded this data so please uh, wait for that this is the land use data okay so this is the land use data so first first land use raster file okay and then number one number one first raster file okay raster file then what have to do just click that raster file using the subbasin so we will clip that using the mask so special analyst tools go to extraction and extract by mask extract by mask the input raster will be this our uh, that file and the input raster using mask will be subbasin Submission, what do you have that submission? Submission means um, see this submission. Okay. So now what I have to do just change the location of uh, where you want to save that file. So we'll go for trial seven. Okay. Here we'll save that soil. Soil soil. So land use land use so, clip. clip data okay save now see after complete completion successful completion will go for that 
see this is the raster file let me click so first you would then use raster file click that and then next is click the raster Then, then what to do? Then reclassify. Reclassify the raster. Reclassify the raster. Reclassify the raster means we go for the attribute table okay then what I have to do so um, for the uh, reclassification we'll go um, there in the reclassify option, that option. reclass okay this option and click on reclassify reclassify input raster will be input raster will be land use clip input raster will be then land use clip now according to your features you reclassify in the new values so we will give like old values are water bodies now so we will change the new uh, new values will be for the water bodies for the new value for bearing and for water bodies we will change it to one okay you can change uh, by yourself for whatever you want uh, this is number two number three 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 and first is number four okay now this we have to do and uh, change the location that location will be like in gdb file okay so i'm giving the name a land use v plus plus okay save see what is coming there close land use open attribute table yeah that value and the count and the class name so we'll sort in this class name according to us okay so first go to the um, these steps uh, be careful for these kind of steps because this is uh, a very important step in hack hms before going to hack creating hack HMS project this procedure because this procedure will create the CN group automatically so start editing start editing what this and this is agriculture and forest okay so done save save and stop it okay. so for the reclass classify the raster reclassify the raster okay reclassify the raster after that after that after that change the the change in the um, long uh, 
to learn this by start editing and if after editing save the now what I have to do next procedure is to convert that raster into save file convert so I am going to do this Conversion tools, conversion tools from raster, from raster to polygon, from raster to polygon. That is go to conversion tool to here. Conversion to this and then from raster, from raster, then raster. Okay, I am doing that. Input raster, input raster will be land use re class. Okay, and this will be class name. So the output polygon feature I am changing in this polygon feature. Rest file. Okay, still output polygon feature will be. Okay. L U S H P. Okay. It came. So we are going to disable these things. Hmm. So first land use a class. Uh, again, if you see the attribute table here, you will get the details. Like see, um, agriculture, forest, barren, and those all these things came safe length and safe area with these kinds of things. These are in which unit? I don't know. Field calculators. Details. Okay. Mm, okay. So you can see here the safe area and uh, okay 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 so here if you want to select any kind of things like you want to see the water bodies yeah just uh, this is not needed actually this no this procedure is needed but what i am showing this is not needed now this one like selecting i am selecting so see this this area this area is water body this this is selected so we can later you can if you uh, need any kind of work you can do that okay so okay now what i am doing now mm, let's go to the let's go to the uh, uh, soil data okay soil what i have to do soil data for soil data i'm i will show you some documents because uh, if you have this 
that pdf and uh, that table then it is very easy for you to construct the soil data according to your uh, your area okay so first we'll go i have already downloaded uh, you can see the comment uh, yeah, you can shoot, see the description description block there you will find the links from where i get the soil data land use data and the other like uh, what pdf i will follow um, means what procedure i will follow that link also will give to you okay so um make like uh, my tutorial give me soil data is here hwsd soil data okay hwsd soil data okay so i'm just disabling now hmm. yeah this is the word for the whole globe the soil data so first task is to <coughs> first first task is to clip the soil data again we'll go again we'll go for extraction tools this is the extraction tools the special analytics extraction what I'm writing here next step step two to add the global soil rest data okay global soil restart data hmm. i am giving the instruction there uh, if you if you type if you type in the google you see the google okay in the google type h w s d f a o f a O soil if you soil if you soil okay this from here you just download this one okay and this one from there you will get the global data and one software that that software is called HWSD this HW HWSD viewer this this hw uh, sd viewer you can uh, see the type of soil hw soil groups are here and the whole for the whole globe okay so i'm i'm coming for that and there so i'm minimizing that first so i'm typing also for that mm. just search search mm. okay uh, link is given in the description for downloading the soil data okay and install install the HWSD viewer okay now first step is clip the data clip the raster for your study study area okay for your study area so we'll go for that now what we have to do extract special analyst tools extraction 
spatial analyst tools. Tools go x extraction go to the uh, extract by mask. Extract by mask. What have to do? Now we go for that extraction input raster. Where is the input raster? HWST. And the input raster will be service. We change. Okay, here. So that will be is and we file C five. Yeah, this work fine. Okay, we'll go for that. So I'll click. We'll disable that one. Okay. So we'll join. We'll see. Yeah. So I'll clip. Soil clip then see the attribute table. This is very important. These values 3727, 3791, 3827. We are going to create some fields here. Going to add fields here. What to do? There uh, I have already done this before. So I have this soil attribute table. I am giving you the whole table mm, whole table just to wait just wait just, just wait yeah so for uh, this kind of situation ah that is the attribute table of the land use no, sorry that is soil will convert that soil will convert that soil into shape file so let us convert that into shape file convert save file save file let's go for that for again a special analyst tools extraction extraction and from extraction that is extract sorry not text yeah, yeah. conversion tools from raster to raster to polygon okay so there uh, the input will be soil clip soil clip that is value okay in trial 7 we'll go for the elusive soil 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 shp soil shp okay okay Okay, it came. We'll see the attribute table of the soil. Okay, here you can see this is the ob object ID, shape ID, okay, grid code, shape length, and this. Uh, in this field, we'll go for creating the add field. Add field, okay. Just uh, up to this you just wait because where I am going that that kind of procedure you just see it. okay you can see there from here no no need to go there you just go to create a CSCN curve number see 
this is the procedure okay the link is given below or otherwise this links i am showing you creating a CSCN card number using hack GHMS. okay copy that copy paste paste into that okay this one number is yeah this 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 is the link see creating this one yeah this uh, creating card number using the Purdue University it is coming this is this procedure means this PDF explains um, what I am following okay so uh, what I have to do here uh, just see grid code this grid code 3272 this grid code explains the characteristics of the clay soil uh, of the soil so how to get that just go to the downloaded hwst viewer okay here you just add the add your shape file like shape file save you if you we have the save file now we have save file wait for that uh, desktop not desktop okay. yeah desktop also we have like you can put it onto sundargar sundargar okay okay sorry 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 that i have saved into different file this pc mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. layers mm -hmm. clear gdb no delete Mm. We are opening, we are trying to open that. Land is clip. And that soil, yes. Yes. Where is that saved? And this clip no matching. Well, no matching. <coughs> mm. Okay. Twilight. Spread. Okay. Ma, uh, actually, mm, I have saved these files uh, in different name here in another uh, folder. Okay so we'll see just a new soil okay not a new soil that soil soil one oh not one not this one add shape Okay, okay, okay. Wait for that. Then, what I have to do? We'll save this. We'll export this file. Okay. This lab only, only, only this folder, only this one. This one will export that soil data, export data. Okay, export data will save in the in the seven export data here. We'll name that soil. So I will soil. 
please keep patience because this procedure is very important and uh, so many uh, times time, uh, time taken okay okay so i export this data i export this data into trial server here we'll upload that add shape add shape add shape d trial server sorry okay it came now what i have to do see this is our means this is the study area okay now we will check the is the view suppose there is a data smu table okay smu table if i'm clicking on here see it is giving the coverage dsmw soil mapping unit 3727 we have not 3727 we have 3727 here see soil shape now i am removing this this one remove soil shape okay penetrate grid code 3727 3727 3827 or 3797 so 3727 i am getting all the information from here see this is 372 dominant soil group LP leptosol. Okay, these names are given by uh, FAO. Now, uh, this is the, all the characteristics we are going to. Uh, you can see by yourself whatever the uh, values are given. I am going to input these data. Uh, okay, first, first one I will show you how to get this um, data to input now we'll go ah, here what i have to do here see in this procedure there uh, they have written that yeah all these procedures are written here the fields value description a b c d no, this table is not given yeah, I have this table. <clears throat> so we'll go the next text. Shape area, shape area, shape area of this perimeter, grid, shape line, shape area, shape area, perimeter, perimeter, add fill. Add field perimeter. perimeter that will be short integer short integer okay next is next add field that will be text code px txt this text code text code text code will be one integer for short integer okay now we will add the field for AWCs to WCs. Okay. That will be in sorry. Okay. You can be that add field, add field, add field soil group. Soil group that will be in text. Now, after soil group, sand percentage. Sand percentage. Soil group. Sand percentage. Sand percentage will be integer. Thank <laughs> you.
the save file new convert to save file then add file do the add file file and follow follow the okay so uh, here up to clear then what i am getting what i am getting uh, okay unit name ph file unit That will be in text. Okay, now I will do ph. ph. That will be the now uh, salinity. So this. HST H PCTA, PCTB, PCTC, PCB, D. PCTA. Okay. Now, after this, you can see that we added the field. Now we have to enter the values. Values, where to get the value? Mm, where to get the value? The perimeter you can calculate by field. Okay. Calculate geometry. Calculate geometry here. Mm, perimeter square meter that is area perimeter okay possibly in the what is going on calculate field geometry okay what will be in perimeter is the volume system we are trying to calculate length and perimeter using to this available property calculate the using this because this can perimeter we need to use it for the coding system. So this projected coding system. Okay. Okay. the properties geographic coordinates gcs okay so for calculating these uh, we are converting into this into conversion tools 
data management rules special analytics rules we will convert into projection 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 data management rules data management rules first not roster this is projection projection project okay uh, we will project the data input feature plus is shovel shape output feature plus output coordinate system will be projected word utm w system north and hemisphere 45 45 now atlas uh, will see the attribute table okay this perimeter will calculate the field perimeter calculate geometry then no tell me how we got it you are very clever calculate geometry Okay. So what is going on? This is shape area and shape area length and frame point. Uh, the calculated value is invalid for row with object ID 1. Okay. Object ID 1. Row with object ID 1. And this one. Okay, let us start the procedure again. Okay, we'll delete, uh, remove the, remove this, and we'll remove this also. Hmm. From soil, soil we, what we have delete, we'll 
again we'll again convert this into projection and transfer but next conversion mm, from raster to polygon from raster to polygon from raster to polygon here i'm stopping this uh, this time it is uh, okay so i'm going to calculate again see i have added the field and uh, calculate geometry and then go for perimeter okay calculate okay it came so next we will follow the same procedure like um, text code awc m so i'm stop here and percentage then add field Seventy solicity, 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 That will be in text. That will be in text. And again, HST, CTR, HST. HST means hydrological soil group. Okay. And text, and then PCT, PCT, A. PCT PCT PC PCT PCT C and PCT T and PCT D. Okay. Now uh, we'll enter the here like test code. <coughs> Texture, texture and code that uh, the loamy, sandy, clay, uh, um, loam and uh, the sand seal. That is why we we give like these soils texture and code like two two one two 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 one. Okay, like for loam loamy type two 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 and for sandy one so this code this code you can change according to you so i'm giving this code mm. uh, now we are going to edit that start editing continue one <coughs> awc m what is that AWCM, I'm telling you, 3727, okay, so I'm going 3727, here, uh, AWCM is 15, AWCM 15, okay, this first value will take, this dominant soil will take, so 15, <coughs> we'll give here, the rest of the value, you can see, 
Now, see, soil group, soil group, soil group, leptosol, leptosol, next to soil group. Yeah, soil group we can get, see, dominant soil groups, leptosols, leptosols. So, we'll type here, leptosols, leptosols. Leptosols. So, then we'll go for the rest in metric. Metric leptosols. <clears throat> like this is leptosols okay now if i click on this this will lexisols dominant 3791 3791 3791 lexisols so i have there 37 37991 this is what what is written Lixisols, okay. So we'll go for that thing. Lixisols. Yep, I think it is written. Oh, sorry, leptosol, leptosol. And nitisol and lixisol. Leptosol, 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 nitisol, 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 and nixisol. 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 Now, the sand percentage, see here, the sand percentage for 3791, for 3791, the sand percentage will, will find that, okay. So, here, for 3791, yeah, 79 percentage, okay, 3791, 79 percentage of sand. So, here it will be 79 we'll go for the list 38 43 43 38, 48, 43, 43. then sealed percentage sealed percentage is also written there 11 percent and clay percent is 10 percent so 11 and 10 11, 23, 34, 34, 11, 23, 34, 11, 23, 34, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, Unit name. Unit name. Uh, where I will get here. See this. This is the soil union name. Ferric Louis. Ferric Louis soils. So here. 
the resource is written so query okay now query Louis solves for the rest litho solves litho solves let me see litho solves you trick litho solves Also, you can get from here. From here, you can get pH. Proposal pH, proposal pH, seven point six. Factory seven point seven. Factory seven seven point six seven point six. So you can go for that. Seven point six. It's not taking so long. We can change the property. This one. We change the property. Seven point six. This field uh, we can change later. Okay, for this now we need we need to do zero point one for each. Okay, this is the point one. Zero point one, zero point one. All of the values are zero point one. Zero point one, zero point one, zero point one, zero point one. Okay, solidity. Solidity is um, four four one.
for the uh, other rest of the value like pcta this will this is very easy only for class b this will be 100 only for class c this will be 100 and the rest of rest of the value will be zero so we will go for pcta zero that will be 100 that will be zero and that will be zero uh, this will be same 0, 0, 100. Oh no, mm. this will be 0, this will be 100, and this will be 0. Now, for C, this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 100, and this will be 0. And uh, for this, 0, 0. Okay, now, now what I have to do? Just save the edits, stop editing. Okay, <clears throat> up to this point, what we get? This is the soil set pile. Okay, now what I have to do? Next part is to join the soil shape and then you see here also uh, if we follow the steps you can find but this particularly this point you may not find the tables attribute tables uh, like uh, here pcta pctb is there soil code is there hmm? some muki is different they are saying it's a little bit different from in this section <coughs> so will go for that now what uh, this table says directly for uh, soil group data available the component table add the component um, and let's join we will set the soil clip let's join table okay. no need to this <coughs> we came up to up to this point now next procedure will go for merging of soil and land use data merging of soil and land use data 
how to go analysis tools overlay we'll merge and proceed for earth so let's go uh, merging tools analysis tools overlay overlay and union analysis tools so we go <coughs> Third step is land is and soil data okay let's go for that analysis tools analysis overlay union <coughs> we'll upload soil shape one and value shape okay change the output colors Elu soil, Elu soil, okay, Elu soil. Then, ah, completely done. Now there is a big task is here. See, if we go for here, he we can see the FRD's value is minus minus some minus values is here here and here also uh, what is this this merging position whenever they are not getting a little portion not much hmm, some um, maybe there is only uh, only soil data or only land use cover so that portion remains minus so what we we are going to do we are going to edit this We are going to edit the data feature and we'll select select the minus value minus value minus value sorry this one okay we'll delete that again this one is also minus so we'll delete this value now check if there is any minus value is here no but i can guess that there this value some values are minus here so we are selecting this also now check it okay fine so we save the data and close that stop okay now for cn grid generation this is the first step this is the first step so after merging data enter delete delete the minus one field and Thank you. This is the part one of CN GR grid junior GN generation okay in the first it takes um, so so um, and this here 
to the next area. Okay. See, so first uh, the whole procedure you see, you can pause the video and see what is there. Okay. Thank you very much.